Hi everyone. Today we're going to go through plan dates on bills in Xero. So this function really only applies to those that have elected for iCount Beans to have third party access to their bank accounts. So if you decided you didn't want to elect in that um, and iCount Beans don't have third party access to your bank account, you don't have to watch this video. If you don't like, you can skip ahead. If you have elected into this service, however, this is a really great tool to help with cash flow. So we're going to come up here to business and we're going to click on bills to pay. Now from here, we're going to click on awaiting payment. We can see all our bills here that we owe. You can see a column here that says plan date and a little plus sign. So on here, you can start adding dates that you would like your accountant to post the payments into your bank account. So for example, you might look at this invoice here for Bayside Wholesale. This invoice is due on the 6th of February, but you might say, well, I definitely want that to be paid earlier. I would like that to be paid no later than the 30th of January. You can select that. Now your accountant will see this and they know on the 30th of January to post that payment in your bank account. This also really helps um, if you don't want your accountant to pay something too early. Um, perhaps, yeah, like I said, with cash flow, you need to move some things around. You don't want a big chunk of money. Say this, you know, invoice this bill here for $2,000. You might go, oh, we're actually just going to push that one out a little bit because I've already spoken to PC Complete and they're happy for me to do that. And that would really help us. So I'm going to go pay it on the 13th of February. So it's a really great feature to use. Um, then your accountant doesn't ever have to, you know, send you lots of emails about this, check in with you, make sure it's okay. They can log in every day and they can see perfect. I know exactly what they pay, want paid when. So yeah, that's it. That's how to use a plan date feature in bills in Xero. I hope this is helpful.